Well, hello, hello. How are all of you? I hope you're all doing well. And um, before I go any further, I want to make sure that you hit that little subscribe and that you thumbs me up. I want to uh, see those thumbs up and I want to see those subscriptions and I would love to see and hear from your comments. And I um, just want to let you know that all is well. God is good and Lord, he is just resting all over this earth. In the midst of all the chaos, God is moving mightily. I just had the most amazing week of counseling with different people. Uh, I have a small group of people that I do um, counseling and Bible study with. And I also do personal counseling, phone counseling for one hour. And it's always in my um, directions underneath the videos. But I just want to mention that because sometimes people forget to look there. And I just wanted to bring to your attention that, yes, I do one hour of, I think, very anointed prayer counseling. I'm always amazed what God speaks and what he does while we're in that time together with um, the Lord as we pray and seek him for whatever the needs are for you. Basically, a time of just directing your life, helping you get on the right path. Um, finding out where you're going, uh, if you're on the right direction, and um, settling things with the Lord through prayer, and um, this has been wonderful. I've had a great week. Actually, it's been for quite some time, and um, I just am so amazed. I have to tell you, I, I've counseled with um, a couple of people this week, and in the midst of all that's going on, I cannot tell you how it just brought me to tears and blessed me <clears throat> as I counseled for somebody today, uh, not today, this week. It was so on fire for God and so hungry for Him. I was hearing from the Lord, having experiences with Him, but couldn't really find a church where He could uh, feel that expression taught or feel the expression of the love of Christ flowing and um, so he's on that search, like many of us are. We've got to find that place. It doesn't have to be a church. It can be a gathering over coffee. Whenever two or three are gathered together, he's in our midst. As long as you stay focused on Jesus, reading the Bible, the scriptures, and sharing prayer together, uplifting each other, it's church. This is church. Two or more gathered together. Praise God. I was just so enlightened and so, so happy that... Um, to see how God is moving with the younger generation. I'm just so amazed. And I've got a few people I haven't even connected with yet to even make appointments because I've been busy. And I'll be getting into that later today. But I just want to encourage you, in the midst of all that's happening in this world, I mean, there's people being jailed for no reason. A pastor was jailed in, in Canada because he was feeding the poor and helping the lost find Christ. I mean, we're living at a dark hour, some call very evil, and I believe I agree with that. We're not living in normalcy anymore. We are in latter days. It's on us. It's upon us. But in the midst of all that stuff, God's glory is rising, and he is touching lives. Things are accelerating very quickly. I don't know if you've noticed it, but things are really accelerating quickly. And I've noticed with myself that wisdom and knowledge, discernment, the gifts of the Spirit are just flowing more rapidly, more pronounced, more refined than ever before. And I know that's got to be happening to you if you're searching and seeking for God and going about your day um, speaking with him and asking him to use you wherever you go. Because, you know, our time here is limited. We're at that 11th, I'm going to say a minute to 12 hour. We're not even, we don't even have the 11th hour, the, the hour left. It's, I believe it's less than that. But it's all right. We're close. We're very close. Could be any time that the Lord raptures the church. We all know this. But we've got to be prepared. We don't want to be like the five or five foolish virgins that were not ready 
Be ready. Be prepared. Do all you know to do. Encourage those that are in your life. Uplift those that are in your life. Lead them to the light of Christ. Do all you know to do. And don't waste time. Don't drag your feet. Do all that you can do, that God has given you to do. Make it count now while we still have some time left. That's what this is all about. That's why the Lord is giving us more time. We're all, many say, oh my gosh, I wonder what's taking the Lord. This is terrible. This has happened. That's happened. This is all in Matthew 24. All these signs are there. But you know, the Lord is waiting. There are so many things, people, that he wants to reach that are, are just not being reached still. So he's waiting. And he's urging so many to move out. This council, this person I counseled with this week, it's just it was amazing. If he's listening, God bless you. And God bless you. I'm just so thankful to God for the encouraging um, encouragement of, of, of listening to people that are hearing from God and are being guided by the Lord and just need to have a little bit of firming up to get him to go to the right direction and a little bit of confirmation in their life. It's so beautiful. And I've got someone else who had a word from the Lord through a dream. It was beautiful. This was just beautiful. And it was very descriptive. And he asked me to, um, if I could discern what it meant. And I did. I took the time and I, I prayed about it and told him what it meant, what I felt it meant. And that it was up to him to make that decision and ask the Lord as well. And it was so beautiful. And so spirit-led that God would bring him something that would encourage him in, in this hour we're living. And that's what he's doing. He's encouraging the brethren. He's helping us that have calls in our life. Many of you have. All of you have. From the minute you were conceived, that calling was put there, placed there. But sometimes we just forget that we have to do what comes naturally. And all those things that come naturally are what the Lord has given us. If you write, write. If you're a reader, read to somebody who is not able to read. If you're a cook, cook. Give it away and bless others that need it. You know, there's other countries that are really having horrible, horrible, devastating times. And a lot of things are happening to us as well, as we've all noticed in these these latter days we're living. Things are changing very rapidly and they're not very pretty. So I'm speaking to you out of love and out of exhortation to let you know that God is waiting for you. He's calling you and beckoning you to move out and to do all that you're called to do. And I counseled with somebody else just yesterday who was working with children a ministry for children, and um, I can't think of the exact name or I'd mention it right now, but it's a very, it's a, an evangelistic children's ministry. And so she went out and she ministered to those, I guess it was for all day long, and evangelized to children and teenagers. She was so excited and so happy. And when she contacted these people, um, so that you could come and do this. They were so excited because she had been there before and they were so, was so happy that she was back again. And she said, you know something, Pastor Pat? I was just doing what I do naturally. She said, give me a broom, give me a shovel, show me where the kitchen is, show me where the tableware is, show me where the food is, show me where everything's at so I can get it together. Just tell me where it's at and you just go about your business. I'll fix it all. Just tell me where these things are and I'll get it together. This is the way God wants us to be. To go forward in what he's given us to do and be glad to do it. Be anxious and glad to do it. I was so excited to be able to share with this woman yesterday in our prayer gathering. I was so, so happy to be able to confirm how beautiful and how big her heart is for the Lord. And she had had a lot of burdens on her plate. 
I'm going to try to roll on and not take too long as I've been going way, way over my time that I normally take. And she had so many things happen in her own family, in her own life. And she was so burdened by all these things. And I came pulling up because it was going to rain. It was just one of those days when it was going to rain and I knew she'd be caught in the storm. I was on my way. I thought I would quick go pick her up and bring her to the meeting so that we could all gather together and just, you know, I was on my way. I just did it spur of the moment. I didn't go to pick her up. It's going to rain any second. It's almost time for the meeting. I'll just go and do that. Well, she came out of the house crying in tears, just crying, face red, just crying, and so thankful to God. She says, you have no idea. God sent you to pick me up. I have been through so much this week. It has been such a hard week. So many of my family are hurting. So many are going through so much. So many bad things, evil things have happened against my family. Those that are Christians and beautiful, beautiful nephews and nieces and grandchildren. And different ones are having surgery. Different ones are, are having um, important uh, meetings. Um, different ones are in big trouble. There's one in, even incarcerated. It's been horrible. The week has been just devastating. So full of burdens. And she was crying as she was saying, but you picked me up. It's just another sign from God that you are so needed. You, I need you so bad. I'm so glad you picked me up. I need you to pray for me. I need you to just lay your hands and just speak the words of life into me. It was such, I mean, it was a glory moment for me. I do what I do. Just like I'm saying to you, do what you do. Don't waste time. Do it. Do it. So we had a wonderful gathering yesterday, and I've had wonderful counseling sessions this week. I've got more coming. And you know, it's all about getting closer to Jesus and hearing from him. I hope you're having a beautiful day. I hope things are going well for you. You know, if they're not going well for you, count it all as good. Count it all as good to the kingdom of God because God is doing bigger and greater and more beautiful things today through us all. And it's going to come through some hardship. It's going to come through some prayer. It's going to come through some battling in the spirit realm. But let it come because Jesus is with you. Greater is he that's in you than he that is in the world. Stay in the word of God. Stay focused on Jesus. Be excited every moment of the day because his redemption is drawing nigh. We're at that place. There's so much is going on in the world. People are just going through so much. We know what's happened in Canada. We know what's been going on in, in the Ukraine. We know all those things in Europe that's taking place, even in the UK. It's not all good. It's really horrific. We sit there and study it. We can't. We just say, God, use us to pray. Pour through this vessel the right prayers, the right intercessions to pray through until the glory comes. And I'll know it's done. And I'll see the victory. God will send them an angel. God will send them an open door. God will do something beautiful to help them as we do our part. We should all be intercessors. That's all just part of life, to intercede. For those that are going through things, it's such a blessing to us. And for those that are allowing themselves to be used, to be poured out vessels for the Lord, to pray for others as well. He's doing everything else we know to do. He's coming soon. That's the good news. He's coming soon. So be ready and prepared. Don't be like the five virgins and don't miss it. Be prepared. There's a lot going on in the world right now. Prepare spiritually, physically, and financially. I want to thank God for those that have been blessing this ministry. I hope you know that there are some that are really, really blessing this ministry. I cannot, I cannot go up to you and thank you enough. But through this video, I hope you know that it is so meaningful. It helps me to continue ministering and taking 
my personal time and doing what I know to do for these videos and for my the personal counseling that I do on the phone lines. I give what I can, I do what I do, and I'm encouraging you to do the same. God bless you, I love you. Don't forget to thumbs me up, subscribe. I just love you all and I hope you're getting something good out of these videos. Keep doing the good stuff, keep doing it. And if you're not, start doing it, it's okay. Every day is a new beginning. I love you in the Lord. I love you in the Lord. Father, I pray for those right now that are in hearing voice, that you touch their life. Embrace them with more and more of you, Father. Dreams and visions, directional guidance, whatever they have need of, Father. Just touch them, Lord. Just touch them and do whatever needs to be done. Let your glory come down, Father. Just like the sun that is coming through these windows, let your glory come down. Let your glory come down. And my friends, touch their lives in Jesus' name. Bless them. Keep them. Show them the way, truth, and the life. And give them that direction they so need. The encouragement they so need. The word they so need. In Jesus' name, hallelujah, cura de beseto, me seto un conta, shena masa, lene me seto sha, te se mo, resistiero to bogota, tiero to bosha. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you. Prendesia, prendesia cura de ba, that one that's just coming back. Touch that problem. Touch that one, Lord. Pure de ne masa. I see someone that's running with open arms back to Jesus. God bless you. And Jesus is waiting for you with open arms. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. God's healing somebody's arm. Thank you, Jesus. I don't know which, maybe it's both, but I see an arm that God is healing. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. I see depression lifting off of somebody and I see the sun shining once more. I see that depression leaving many, many. And I see the sun shining over their lives. Deliverance and healing in Jesus' name for those of you that are suffering with these horrible, cursed sicknesses and diseases. In Jesus' name, I praise you, Lord. Thank you for what you're doing. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. I'll see you next time. God bless you. This has been your divine appointment. I'll see you again. Don't forget, if you need an hour of anointed counseling, I'm available. My information is on the inside of the box. I love you. Bye-bye.